chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we have been given two diagrams we have to study them and answer the questions the first one is investments by gautam and rudra they are two friends in six schemes in thousands of rupees so they together invest in scheme m 84000 in n they invest 72000 likewise in r they together invest 96000 in the second chart percentage of gautam's investment out of total so this is the combined investment and this is the investment of gautam out of total so in scheme m gautam invested 54% of 84000 in scheme n he invested 60% of 72000 and the remaining of course the 40% of 72000 was invested by rudra so this is how we have to read both the charts together let us now see whether we can interpret them the first question is scheme m offers simple interest at a certain rate of interest per annum uh, scheme m so this is the scheme if the difference between the interest earned by gautam and rudra from scheme m after 4 years is this one what is the rate of interest so this question obviously requires you to have a conceptual understanding of the simple interest story bookish knowledge will not help here so you should go through the videos that i have given on simple interest and compound interest there i have taken the theories in depth also so let us apply that knowledge to this case so let us now proceed the formula for the difference of the interests will be the principal of first friend into the rate of interest divided by 100 into 4 because the time is 4 years one friend minus the principal of the second friend is different but rate is same and time is same this is the formula for the difference of simple interest the difference has also been given to us so let us write it in a bit systematic way take out r by 100 common so we can say it is r into 4 by 100 into the difference of the two principals so what will be the difference let us write that also so principal of first friend is 84000 into 54% so we can write it as 84k into 54 by 100 and what about the other friend this is the investment by gautam the other friend principal will be a same principal 100 minus 54 46% by 100 so when you try to find the difference 84000 by 100 that is 840 will be common so our formula will become r into 4 by 
into 840 will be common. This is 84,000. This is 100. 84,000, 100. So, 840 into the difference of the percentage is now which is 8, 54 minus 46. This one, this is given equal to 4435.20. So, we can say that the rate of interest will be take this 100 to the other side 443520 divided by 4 into 840 into 4. So now I am not putting the cancellation story, but you can see this 0 will get cancelled out. This will be divisible by 16, this 16 will get cancelled out there. So ultimately we will be left with 231 by 14 and which you can divide on your rough side it will be divisible completely and you will get 16.5 percent as the required answer. So a bit of calculation but if you try it is not much also that much proficiency is expected also but things get solved fairly easily when you divide it by the full division you will find that it gets cancelled at 16.5 percent which is the required answer. So the more important part was the derivation of this formula and if you see the videos on my compound interest and principal simple interest you will find I have laid stress on the derivation of these formulas just in time. And I have always been against those who teach shortcut methods which are applicable to a particular question only. Ultimately, in-depth understanding always comes to your rescue. Let us move to our next question now. If scheme O offers compound interest compounded annually at 12% per annum, the scheme O is this one. What is the difference between the interest earned by Gautam and Rudra from the scheme O after two years? Let us first of all write the formula for the compound interest after two years. Now we know that amount after two years is given by principal into 1 plus rate raised to the power 2 and you subtract P you will get the interest. So interest is equal to take P common this will be 1 plus R whole square minus 1 you can open the bracket plus 2R minus 1 which is equal to R into P into 2 plus R. If you see it carefully, this one gets cancelled. R is taken out. So R with comes with P. This R becomes single R and this 2 is left. So the formula for the compound interest after 2 years is this one. So we can say difference of compound interest will be equal to R into 2 plus R because rate of interest is same for both the schemes into the difference of principles. See, for first it will be R into P into 2 plus R. For the other, R will remain same, but P will change. When you subtract, R and 2 plus R will be common. And here you will be multiplying with the difference of the principles. So let us now first of all see what is the difference of principles of Gautam and Rudra for scheme O. The difference of principle will be 
32,000 is the total investment and out of this 40% was done by Gotham and obviously 60% must have been done by the other friend. So 60% by one person minus 40% by the other person divide by 100. So you can say that it is equal to, we can cancel this 100. This will give me 20. So 20 into 320 will give me 6400. So the difference between the principles is 6400. So now the required difference will be 6400 multiplied by the rate of interest is 12 by 100 into this will be 12 by 100 plus 2 orally this will become 212 by 100 now you will have to do long multiplication of 12, 212 and 64 on your rough side you can calculate the product and what we will get is 16218.16 which is the required answer. Sorry this is 1628.16. So you just had to be careful at this step. Take out the formula first and then the calculation is not tough at all. Some people will calculate it the long way. They will never be able to find out the answer. For example, first calculate the investment of first person, then calculate his interest, calculate the investment of other person, calculate the interest. That way it will be such a long method that it won't finish in the time. We had first of all we have to first of all find out the formula because a number of things will get cancelled out and come common. This was the main breaking point where we were able to simplify the solution to this question. And this is used in the problems of compound interest and simple interest as you can see in the videos for those chapters. Let us move to our next question now. Amount invested by Gotham in scheme S is S I don't think is in the list. So it is some other scheme is equal to the amount invested by him in scheme N. So what is the amount invested? Amount in S and N is equal to, so N is this scheme, N is this scheme, so it is 72,000 into 60%. So we can write it here, 60% of 72,000. So this will be two zeros will get cancelled out. So you will get something like 43200. Let us move further. So this is the same amount invested in S also and N also. We can call it P as the principal amount. The rate of interest percent per annum of scheme S and N are same. So their rates of interest are also same. The only difference is scheme S offers compound interest compounded annually and the scheme N offers simple interest. If the difference between the interests earned by Gotham from both the schemes after two years is this, what is the rate of interest? So basically we have principal already with us. This principal is first put on compound interest and it is then put in simple interest you have to you have been given the difference of interest and you have to find the rate of interest so what is the compound interest after two years 
प्रिंसिपल इंटू वन प्लस रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेस टू दी पावर टू माइनस वन दिस इज द कंपाउंड अमाउंट माइनस प्रिंसिपल एंड यू सब्ट्रैक्ट द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो द डिफरेंस द रेट इंटू टू प्रिंसिपल इंटू रेट इंटू टाइम एंड दिस इज द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड दिस इज द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट द डिफरेंस इज दिस वी कैन राइट इट इक्वल टू पी इन टू दिस विल बी वन प्लस आर स्केयर प्लस टू आर दिस मीन्स दिस एंड दिस विल गेट कैंसल्ड इन द प्रोसेस सो यू विल गेट पी इन टू आर स्केयर देर फोर आर स्केयर इज इक्वल टू द गिवन डिफरेंस इज थ्री फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टू सो राइट दैट ऑल्सो This difference will be divided by four three two double zero. The principal. We can now do one thing. We can adjust this dot also. Three four nine nine two divided by four three two into one by hundred. and this 100 so you can see that this story cancels on 81 and therefore r square will come equal to this will give me 9 sorry r you can take out the square root r will come to this 9 and 100 will stay and when you take r in terms of percent you will just multiply it by 100 so 9% will be the required rate of interest you should see another thing that i am not involving too many hundreds when i write the formula i have never done that 100 comes into picture only at the last step it will help you simplify your your calculations so i will repeat we first obtained the principal then we obtained the compound interest for one scheme simple interest for the other scheme during the difference we saw number of things cancelled out so we were left with principal into r square we put r square equal to interest difference of interest which is given to us divide by the common principal which is 43200 and then we just adjusted this dot made it a whole number and got the 100 down we discovered that it cancels on 81 and then r came to 9 by 100 multiplied it by 100 to obtain it as a percentage let us move to our next question now what is the re respective ratio between the total amount invested by gautam in schemes o and q together and total amount invested by rudra in the same schemes together so first of all let us uh, total out the investment of gautam in o and q gautam in scheme o this is the scheme o Gautam invested forty percent of thirty-two, so we can write it as forty by hundred into thirty-two k. We'll just keep k is for thousand, and Gautam in scheme Q. Let us do for Q also. This is sixty-four, and this is forty-two. So it is forty-two by hundred into sixty-four k. Now, which we can observe here that we can just keep it thirty-two k and move two with this. So it becomes eighty-four by hundred into thirty-two k. Now, when we add them, 
what will we get? Some 32k by 100 is common. You can in fact write it as since k is 1000, this 00, 0 will get cancelled. You will get 320 common multiplied by 84 plus 40 which is equal to 320 into 4, 124. Don't multiply, keep them as such because 320 will come common for the other person also. Let us do the same thing for Rudra. Rudra for scheme O, 32 is the, so 40% was by Gautam, so 60% must have been by Rudra. 32K and Rudra in Q, 64,000 and 42%, so 42% means 58% 58 by 100 into 64k Again we can take 32k Bring 2 with this one I write it 32 into 2 2 will be multiplied to this It becomes 116 into 32k by 100 so total rudra this will be again this and this has to be added 32k and this 100 will give me 320 into this 60 plus 116 so it becomes 320 into 176 so the ratio will be this one and this one. So we have to uh, keep Gotham at the top. So the ratio will be 320 into 124. So I will just write 124 because 320 is common cancels out by 176. Cancel them on the table of 4, 31. 44 so the required ratio will be 31 is to 44 which is among the given options and the required answer so my presence of mind helped me here to simplify the calculations I saw 32 and 64 are multiples so I just took 2 out kept 32 and you can see the results how I was easily able to calculate it. Let us move to our next question now. What is the average amount invested by Gotham in schemes M, N, O, P and Q together? So it is only about Gotham. Average amount. So this is scheme M, N, O, P and Q. So the amount invested would be 84 into this 54 percent plus 72 into this 60 plus 32 into this 40 plus 60 into 30 plus 64 into this 42 so out of each of them firstly 1000 will come common because the investments are in thousands, so 84,000, 72,000, then this is a percent divided by 100, so a divide by 100 will also come common. So plain calculation, 4536 
this product plus 6 to 12 43 plus 1 to 8 0 plus 1800 for this one plus this one 2688 and the whole thing multiplied by 10 since average has to be taken all will be divided by 5 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 and this 10 will give me 2 so total these out 1 4 6 2 4 into this 2 which is equal to 2 9 2 4 8 which is the required answer. So a bit of calculation, a bit of aptitude was required in solving these questions. This was taken from one of the previous year's papers.